Hello YouTube viewers, this is Dijin from the Device Manager. In this video, I'm gonna help you with fixing Wi-Fi problem in Windows 10. A lot of users have reported there are many upgrade bugs in Windows 10 including uh, no sound, black screen, blue screen, no internet access, etc. Recently, many users encountered the no Wi-Fi available in Windows 10 issue. This may include uh, Wi-Fi not available after installing Windows 10 or updating to Windows 10. Wi-Fi not available after upgrading Windows 10. So these kind of issues generally occurring, occur in Windows 10. So the reason for this causes uh, the Wi-Fi or the wireless adapted driver is not updated or not compatible with Windows 10. In some cases the driver may be missing after the Windows 10 update. If reinstalling Wi-Fi drivers doesn't help, the problem may be triggered by unsupported VPN softwares in your system. So these are those issues uh, which can lead to the no Wi-Fi available in your Windows 10. So without wasting any time, let's directly move on to the solutions. Before moving into the main solutions, I just want you to make sure the four prerequisites. The first one is restart your computer, res uh, reset your Wi-Fi router and see if that works. Restart your computer, reset your Wi-Fi router and see if that problem is fixed. If not, uh, see if there is any VPN software installed on your computer, uh, if it doesn't support Windows 10, then uninstall it and uh, see it resolves the issue. Uh, if it uh, does, then go to the software vendor website and download the version which supports Windows 10. Third one is, disable, disable your firewall and uh, see if that is the cause. Fourth one is, make sure there is no problem exists with your cable, modem cable or internet service provider. If these four things has nothing to do with your issue, let's go to the main solutions. The first method, run the network troubleshooter followed by networking commands. Run the network troubleshooter followed by networking commands. For this what you need to do is, go to start menu, there you select command prompt brackets admin. You are logging into command prompt as administrator. In command prompt, you type the following commands like I am typing. The first command is netsh n e t s h space winsock w i n s o c k space reset r e s e t netsh space winsock space reset. Then hit enter. You can see a message like successfully reset the Winsock catalog. Uh, you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Before that we need to type some more commands. After typing all the commands, we will restart the system. The next command is NETSH space INT space IP space RESET. NETSH space INT space IP space reset. Then again you hit enter. You can see some messages, uh, ignore it. The next command is IP config, C-O-N-F-I-G forward slash release, R-E-L-E-A-S-E -E. IP config forward slash release. Again you hit enter. Now you type the next command, IP config c o n f i g i p config forward slash renew r e n e w again you hit enter you need to wait for a while uh, the command is being executed next you type ip config i p c o n f i g forward slash f l u s h d n s flush dns now hit enter after typing and hitting enter all these commands just exit restart your system and see if the problem is fixed if not let's move to the method 2 method 2 is update the network adapter driver method 2 update the network adapter driver 
for that you need to go to the device manager uh, you to go to device manager just go to the bottom left start button on desktop there you type device manager in the search box then tap device manager on the menu after getting into device manager you can see all drivers of your system is enlisted here there you go to network adapters in network adapters you can see the adapter in your system right click on it and click on update driver software this updating driver software can be done both manually and automatically I, I suggest you to go online to update driver software if there is any updates install it now restart your system and see if that works method 3 roll back the network adapter driver for that you again have to go to the device manager from the step which I explained in the first method just go to device manager there you can see the network adapters enlisted there you right click on it there you can see properties hit on properties in the properties section you select a driver in that uh, driver there you can see an option like rollback driver okay hit on rollback driver it will uh, roll back your driver to the previous version and you hit ok restart your system and see if that works for you if not worked let's go to the final method method 4 this will definitely help you that is uninstall the network adapter driver and restart for that again you go to device manager click on network adapters right click on the particular network driver you have then you click on uninstall don't think that you are term you are permanently removing the driver it's not like that you are temporarily uninstalling it after clicking on uninstall it will ask you to some yes or no question something like that you click ok or yes then after doing that close everything restart your system when you restart it will automatically inst install the network adapters in your system and see if the problem is fixed I hope this video will definitely help you to fix the issue of Wi-Fi in Windows 10 as well as in will help in Windows 8 or Windows 7 as well if this helped please leave a thumbs up if you have any queries please feel to ask through the comment section I'll be uploading more and more videos in the coming days so please stay tuned to my channel don't forget to subscribe this is Dijin JS signing off